Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. One more day. <laughs> okay, one more day, yes. Yes. Don't you have classes these days, Miguel? Uh, I teach class? Yes. Yeah. No, only on the Saturdays. Only Saturdays. But it's, yes. uh, do you go to a place or? Or it's virtual? It's virtual. Ah, I see. I thought it was like in a place. Exactly. Okay. See, yes, yes. Okay. Very good. So you work in the morning? Yes, in the morning. Saturday in the morning. Only morning. Nine, only morning. Nine to 11. Nine to 12. Three hours. Three hours. Yes. Okay. Is the, the most hour of the INSA for the must be required. Oh, I see. But uh, what company do you work for? Uh, uh, UDB. UDB. Ah, all right. I see. Yes. UDB. Mm -hmm. Universidad Don Bosco, right? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. I see. Interesting. So did you graduate from Universidad Don Bosco? No. No. It's a uh, Universidad Tecnologic. Ah, all right. Yeah. UTEC. Yes, to take. Okay, I see. Interesting. Very good. Okay, hi, Angela, Darwin, and the others. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Darwin. Good evening. Okay, just oh, let me see. Sir. I'm very well, thank you. How about you? Um, excellent day. Nice, very good. It's good to know that you had a good day. And we see Ingrid is saying that she is coming in the bus, right? Okay. No problem. We are going to text her. Okay, teacher, I'm working later. Turn on the camera, maybe 30 minutes. Margarita is working. Okay. Thank you for informing, Margarita. And Ingrid, thank you for informing. All right, very good. So, um, at the end, ¿cómo, ¿cómo le fue en las actividades? 100%, 100%? ¿En las actividades de la semana? ¿Todo bien? Everything very okay. Nice. Okay, very good. Ángela? Me, teacher, uh, good. Nice. I, nice. I can see you had 100%, right? Yes. Yes, all right, sí. very good, uh -huh. excellent. Uh, sí. So everything okay? Todo bien, everything okay? Everything okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Carla, and Ada. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm very well, good evening, Ada. I'm very well, Carla, how are you? Um, fine. I am fine, all good. Oh, nice. Good to know that Ada and Carla are fine. Very good. Hi, Asalia. Oh my God, a little tired. You say a little tired. Oh my God. I imagine. Is Asalia Melanie here? Hi, Asalia Melanie. Hi, teacher. Ah, yeah, you're there. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Rafa is connecting too and loaded this, right? Yes. Yeah, he's connected. I heard yes. <laughs> okay, so basically today uh, we start unit number two, right? Did you finish the writing from yesterday? Terminaron la actividad de escritura de ayer? Did you finish it? Yeah? Yeah, teacher. Uh, okay, the writing about your work experience. Ahí les dejé un apartado en discusión para que puedan. Es la tarea del día 5 y 6, creo yo. Ahí les aparece. Okay. Es, la, es lo mismo, solo que lo van a subir a discusión. Okay. Lo que estaban haciendo, what you were doing. Así que se toman el tiempo de ir ahí luego al foro de discusión y ahí comparten su, su respuesta o lo que ustedes escribieron. Okay. Ya, yeah. please, por favor, please. All right, let's start. Ok, thank you. Okay, let's start. Empecemos. Uh, let's start with the attendance. Uh, so let me pass it quickly. Ada? 
present. Very good. Adriana? Adriana? Not yet. Ana Michelle? Angela? Present teacher. Present. Who said present? There. And dijo present por ahí, antes de Angela. Azalia? Present. Ah, Azalia said present. Darwin? Present teacher. Very good. Flor? Flor? Present. Okay, very good. Feeling better, Flor? Do you feel better? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, Gloria? Here. Yeah. Excellent. Carla? Present. Great. Margarita? I'm here. Yes, working. Mayra? Miguel? Present, teacher. Nelson? Ophelia? Osmin? Here, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Rafael? Here. All right, very good. Rosa? Good evening. Present. All right, excellent. Uh, Sandra? Jansi. Present. Teacher, good evening. So Hello, good, good evening. <laughs> Jansi is here. Sulma. Present. Sulma. Present. We don't hear you very well, Sulma. Mm -hmm. I guess you have problems with the microphone. Present, teacher. Me, Adriana. Ah, oh, Adriana. Okay. I will check later, in a segunda, on the second time, all right? Uh, Edwin? Ingrid? She's connected. Lourdes? Present teacher. Very good. Oscar? He asked for permission, I think. And Susana? Susana? No, right. Okay, very good. Uh, so let's start uh, with uh, today's class. And just, okay, now that, they have, that uh, the majority is present, ahí les dejé siempre en, di en discusión, les dejé el apartado para lo que estuvieron escribiendo ayer. Okay, is session four and five, I think. Okay, así que vayan a discusión, ahí buscan el tema y ahí van a agregar lo que estuvieron escribiendo ayer. Okay, si lo terminaron, please. Okay, do me that favor. Y hay otras <coughs> actividades de discusión ahí que, que también pueden completar, that you can complete. Too, okay, so uh, so welcome to today's class. Bienvenidos, welcome, welcome everyone. And for today we have unit number. Uh, okay, for today you have unit. We have unit number two. Okay, but before we go to unit number two, let's um, let's make a review or let's try to remember the topics of unit number one. Okay. So I remember that in unit number one, we studied the use of can and can't, right? Can and can't. Do you remember uh, what the purpose of can and can't is? What is the purpose of can and can't? Talk about abilities. Exactly. The purpose of using can is to talk about abilities. For example, I can. I can play piano. I can play the piano. Very good. Any other ability? I can drive. I can drive. Excellent, Osmin. I can drive. Any other example? I can run very fast. I can run very fast. Very good, Miguel. Thank you very much. More examples? Do we have more examples using can? I can swim. I can swim, very good. One last example, uno, uno más, one more. I can dance. I can dance, very good. I can dance. 
No, these are abilities you have, right? These are abilities you have. But if you yes. put it, if you put it in negative, like can't, can't, I can write as a salia. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. But if you put it in negative, can't with the contraction, uh, is not one ability, right? For example, in yes. my case, in my case, I say, I can say, I can't play the piano. I can't play the piano. It's not an ability for me. It's impossible for me to play the piano, okay? So now tell me examples in negative. I can't play the guitar. Good, I can't play the guitar. Excellent, Sandra. I can't speak German. I can't speak German, very good. I can't sing. I can't sing, excellent. Thank you, Lourdes and Osmin. Yeah. Do we have more examples? I can't. I can play play, uh, play tennis. I can't play tennis. Very good. One last example. One example más. One last example. Yeah. I can play the soccer. I can't. I can't. I can't play the soccer. I can play soccer, very good, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, now these are positive and negative, but how do you ask questions? How do you ask questions using can? Can you speak German? Exactly, can you, can you speak German? Germany or German is German, right? Good, now to practice, can you please ask me some questions using can? Ask me some questions. Okay? Can you sing? No, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> and did you play soccer? Oh, yes, I can. A little. A little. Can you, can you speak two language? Yes, I can other, speak Spanish. Other language. I can speak English and Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And a little French. Uh, any other yeah. uh, question? Yes. French. Yeah. The idea is that you practice can questions, you, right? Yeah, Darwin. Can you swim in the river? Yes, I can swim very well. I promise. Can you cook? cook yes, you? I can. I can cook. I'm a good cook. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes, it's true. Okay. I, I cook for my wife. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> can you can you talk about your experience? My experience? Oh yes, of course. Um I am yes, I I, I worked at Itka Megatech, I work at Itka San Miguel, I work at Superate Program, I work at Universidad de Oriente, Universidad General Gerardo Barrios. I work with Mined, I worked with UCA, different. Yeah, I have a lot of experience. Any other question? No more questions. No, okay, very good. So the idea is that you practice questions, right? So uh, when you use can, uh, you are, when you ask questions, you say, can you? Can and then the subject, okay? Or I can say, can Miguel play the piano? Or can Miguel use the computer? Or can Asalia um, type fast, for example? Or can Rosa speak three languages? All right, yeah? So uh, that's the structure. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, th th this is one topic we started in unit number one. And the idea is to remember and to practice, okay? To remember and to practice. I also remember uh, we started would and could. Like, for example, um, I would be a good manager or I could be a good manager. Yes. So we use would be and could be for impressions of possibility, right? Impressions of possibility. Okay. Can you tell me one example about you using would be or could be? Let me give you one so you have a better idea. So I can say, can for I example... Say yeah. Can I say? Can I say? I would like to be a supervisor. Mm, it's the the idea is okay. 
but, but in this case, you are expressing something you would like to be. And here the idea is to say that you would be a good uh, supervisor, okay? I will be a good Because you have abilities maybe, okay? You have abilities okay. of working with people. Uh, okay. so I would be a it's good like, it's, supervisor. It's like, some, it's like something affirmative. Exactly. Uh, that, that I am sure that I will, I will be. <laughs> yeah, it's because you have the ability. It's because you have the abilities, all right? Can you repeat the example, please? For example, can I say someday I will be a supervisor? I would be a, a great supervisor. <laughs> a great supervisor. Okay. Yes, it's okay, Rosa. It's okay. Very good. Okay. So okay. you can say I would be or I could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do we have more more uh, examples? Okay. Yeah. Example. Yeah. I, I, I could be a great manager. Excellent, very good. I'm sure, no yeah. doubt. Thank you, Asmin. So for yeah. example, for example, uh, si alguien aquí que no es padre de familia podría decir, I would be a good father or I would be a good mother, okay? Yeah, or you can say the opposite. I wouldn't be, all right? Or I couldn't be, all right? Yeah, because you're not children maybe. Okay, very good. So more examples, please. Two more examples. You think would be or could be? Two more examples using would be or could be? Uh, would be. Could be, is the same. Could be or would be? I, I would be a great employee. A great? Em employee. Employee, yes, no doubt. Yeah. I know you are a great employee, Osmin. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, one more example, but not Osmin, somebody else. I would be or I could be. Adriana? I will be a great manager. Excellent, very good. I like it. You can say I would be or I could be, okay? Same purpose. Okay, same purpose. Okay, thank you very much. So here we use would be and could be for impressions of possibility, in the example, right? So that's the idea, okay? It's because you have some abilities to say that. You can also say negative. También podrían usar el negativo. Podrían decir, I wouldn't be, porque no tienen esa habilidad. In my case, for example, I, I, I can say, I wouldn't be a good lawyer. I wouldn't, wouldn't, negative, right? Or I couldn't, I couldn't be a good lawyer. Okay, for example. All right, very good. And finally, I remember we started some time expressions, like, uh, like for example, for, since, from, to, long. Yes? Yeah. I remember we started that. Yes, what is for? What is for? For. Four. 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 Yes. Four use um period of, of time. Yes, we use four with periods of time. For example, for two years, for one year, for two months, yes. for three days. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lourdes. Uh, and since what is since? And since is desde. And as Osmin said, is for a specific time in the past. Since yeah. yesterday, since 2015, since blah, 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 a specific time in the past, okay? Un tiempo específico en el pasado, a specific time in the past. What is from to? From to? De a. De a. Or desde hasta, you can say, right? For example, for example, you can say, um, I can say, I work at Mega 10, I'm at Mega Tech, sorry, from 2011 to 2012. How do you say this in Spanish? From 2011 to 2012. What is that in Spanish? Del 2011 al 2012. Exactly, desde hasta, desde el 2011 desde hasta el 2012. 2012. Yes, thank you, Rosa, thank you very much. What is until? 
Hasta. 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 Mm -hmm. Until. And we use it with a with the end of a time, right? With the end of a period of time. La finalización de un periodo. For example, I can say, talking about Megatech, I work at Megatech until 2012. Hasta el 2012. I work there, all right? And long, right? What is long? For example, I can say, I work at Superate program for long. I work at Superate for long. For mucho tiempo, for long. We say long, mucho tiempo, right? Okay, very good. So this is just to remember and to practice. Remember, uh, just, just to practice, okay? Para que no se le vaya a olvidar lo que hemos aprendido en la unidad 1, okay? So you don't forget. Y manténganse siempre repasando, okay? Repasando, repasando, para que no se les olviden estas cositas. Y practicando, haciendo ejemplos, okay? Uh, yo siempre digo que aquí depende de qué tanto ustedes practican. Pueden entender los temas perfectamente en el momento. Pero si no lo vuelven a mirar nunca o no lo vuelven a repasar nunca, es como que, como que no los hayan aprendido. Se, se olvida rápido. Más a la edad en la que estamos todos, me incluyo, porque también no estoy joven, ¿ok? A la edad en la que estamos todos se nos olvida más rápido, ¿ok? Ya, ya, ya nuestro cerebro se va, se va gastando, se va gastando un poquito. Entonces, we need a lot of practice. <risa> Entonces, teacher, no nos andame mucho, teacher. De hecho, no es desanimarlos, es desafiarlos de que deben repasar más, 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 ¿ok? Así que eh, practiquemos mucho, ¿ok? Practice a lot. Yo sé que el trabajo a veces nos consume mucho tiempo, pero si estamos en este proceso de aprender inglés, necesitamos practicar mucho, ¿ok? Aquí se hacen bastantes actividades de práctica, pero ustedes personalmente deben hacer también muchas cosas. Con lo que aprenden acá no van a hablar inglés, pero si ustedes hacen cosas, si caminan esa milla extra, ¿ok? Si suben la barra, como dicen, entonces sí lo van a lograr, ¿ok? Pero para eso deben involucrarse muchísimo, muchísimo, muchísimo también, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Tiempo de consejería. Ok, tiempo de consejería terminó. Let's continue with the class. Siga, <risa> Siga, siga, me dice el Sandra rápido. Ya sienten que lo voy a regañar, ¿verdad? <risa> ok, very good. So let's... Sorry. Sorry, Azalea, you said. This is fair. Yeah. Ok, let's, let's, continue with, let's continue with the class then. So, um, for today, uh, the unit for today is, um, let me see, I do, you see, I don't remember the name of the unit. De eso hablo, I don't remember the name of the unit. It's uh, schedules and stuff, or stuff and schedules, ok? Very good. So, let's go to the first activity. Listen, here I have a picture. Okay, here I have a picture. Uh, the idea in this moment is, the idea in this moment is that you look at the picture, of course, okay, look at the picture and think, okay, think. What is the picture about? Okay, think, don't tell me, okay? No me digan ahorita, only think. What is the picture about? What are the people doing? What can you see in the picture? Okay, think. What is the picture about? What are the people doing? What can you see in the picture? Different, different don't tell, activities. Don't, don't tell me in this moment. Only think. Ahorita solo piensa en las respuestas. Only think about the answers, okay? You tell me in a moment.
All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, yes. so uh, question number one is, what is the photo or picture about? What is the photo or, or picture about? It's a calendar. calendar. <laughs> okay, it's about schedule. It's about a calendar. Very good. What else? Come on, what else? Um, to do or activities. Okay, to do activities. Very good. To do activities. Excellent. What else? The check calendar. Ah, the, a, a calendar and check. They are checking activities in the calendar. Very good. Now, second question. Uh, what are the people in the picture doing? Three. Right. They are. They are. Right. They are right. Right. Right or writing. 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 Very good. The, uh, so, some people are writing. What else? Um, some people are marking. Some people marking. are marking or checking, you can say. Checking, checking. Okay, they're checking some days. Very good. Checking what else? Checking some days. Yeah. What um, else? They Sorry? have shadows. Speak in, in microphone. Ah, somebody's speaking in a, mic, in a kind of microphone, all right? Very good. On a speaker. They yeah, what else? have shadows. They have shadows. Schedules. Schedules. Ah, schedules. You say schedules. Schedules. Okay, they have schedules. Very good. Now, uh, time what do you is see? The time is important. Very good. Is something that is not on the picture, like exactly, but it's you can infer this. Podemos inferirlo. We can infer it. Very good. Now look at the first person. Look at this person. What is he doing? Supervisor. Uh, he is a supervisor, maybe. And what is he doing? Mm, he is speaking. Speak megaphone. He's speaking. Very good. And now look at the man. Look at the man um, here. What is the man doing? He's che checking. He's checking what? <clears throat> He's checking calendar. The calendar, very good. Now look at this lady. What is this lady doing? She is writing. She is writing. She's writing. writing some activities, maybe, right? She is writing some activities, maybe. Now look at this man. What is he doing? He's organizing their time. Good. He's organizing time or writing some activities. Now look at the last man. What do you think the position of this man is? Manager. manager. Probably okay. he's a manager or supervisor. He's invited a meeting. Sorry? Maybe he's invited a meeting. Yes, a meeting? That's, that's right. Maybe he has been invited to a meeting. Yeah, because he's checking the time, right? Mm -hmm. He's checking, checking the time. time. Okay, that's mm -hmm. excellent. Very good. Now, I will, I will go back here. So, why do I have this picture? Because basically the unit for today is staff and schedules, okay? Staff and schedules. What is the schedules? Agenda, yes. agenda. Oh, yes. agenda, horarios, horarios. We can say tareas, okay? The schedules, okay, very good. So uh, schedules are important. Do you think the schedules are important? Yes or no? Yes. It's very important. Yeah, it's very important. Why do you think schedules are so important? Why? Um, check the house for work. Ah, you can check. That's, that's, no, that's the way to do that. Organize. 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 Because you organize the time. Sorry, Lourdes? Because you organize your time. Exactly. It's a very good way, as Rosa said, to be organized, or as Lourdes said, to organize your time or the things in the house, as Osmin said, right? Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Now we have a discussion uh, question here. And on this uh, discussion question, okay, let me, let me show it to you here. So we have two discussion questions, okay? Number one is, what is a regular day at your workplace like? Okay, a regular day at your workplace. Ah, like the activities you do. You can say, for example, I always check email, I have meetings, blah, blah, blah. So write at least 
three or four activities, okay? Three or four activities about the regular day at your work. Question number two, how busy are you? How do you say this sentence in Spanish? How busy are you? That's right. ¿Qué tan ocupado estás? How busy are you? Okay, that's very good. ¿Qué tan ocupado estás? How busy are you? Now, and you can say, for example, I'm not so busy because I plan my day very well. You can say, I don't know, all right? Or you could say, um, I'm always busy because, and then you explain your reasons, okay? So please take a moment and try to answer the two questions about you, all right? Take a moment and try to answer the two questions about you. I give you three minutes to answer, okay? Three minutes to answer. In number one, maybe you can write like three or four activities, okay? About your work, about your regular day, okay? <laughs> Question number two, how busy are you? Is que tan ocupado estás tú, okay? In your work, right? Of course, in your work. How busy are you? Yes, Carla. Teacher. Tell me, Carla. Uh, could you explain uh, why like is a last uh, last word in this in this question? It's a hard question. I use it, but I have never thought about the explanation. All right. <laughs> yes, it's like when you, when you say um. It, the, the, the meaning of the word in this case is como, okay, como. Mm -hmm. Y cuando se usa una pregunta, se usa al final. No es un, ya no es un verbo, ya no significa gustar, okay? Uh -huh. it's not, the, the meaning is not gustar anymore. Like, for example, um, how do you feel like? You can say like, okay, or what do you feel like? Okay. Like, como te sientes? Y, per, y mm -hmm. pero siempre se usa el... Con, iniciando con una W la pregunta. Con what? Normalmente con el what. Se usa con el what. Ah, mm -hmm. What did you feel like? What do ah. you feel like? Uh -huh. mm, mm -hmm. Oh, interesante. No, no, no sabía eso. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's like in question number one, for example, what is a regular day at your workplace like? It's like, ¿cómo es un día? rutinario regular in tu trabajo, okay? Como, so, what you like, they work together para convertir la, la, la pregunta en español a como, okay? Okay. Yeah. Normalmente se usa en la pregunta también what does she look like? What does she look like? ¿Cómo ¿Y, cómo, ¿Y cómo cómo vamos a identificar cuándo es que lo vamos a usar? Mm, no, no es tan común en realidad. It's not very common. Like for real. Pero normalmente se usa con el what y se usa al final de la oración. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Y how is your regular day? Y lo puedo dejar, o sea, se usa con what, pero digamos que si yo lo empiezo la oración con how. No, it's incorrect. It's incorrect. Yeah. Uh, it's with what sea, specifically. Solo con el what se usa. Al menos yo solo con el what lo he visto. I have seen it okay. with what. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
Pero no es incorrect si yo digo how, how is a regular day at your workplace. It's correct. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Ah, yeah. okay. Pero se ve como más bonito con el like al final. Yes, yeah, it's true. Okay. Okay, I gave you four minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. All right. Okay, uh, so uh, if you uh, want to see the questions, uh, the questions are on page number 19, okay? Page number 19, activity one, okay? So I repeat, the questions are on page number 19, activity one, all right? So did you finish? Did everyone finish? Or not yet? Did you finish? Or you are still yes, working? Yes, oh my Yes, yes, I yes, yes, all right. Yes. Ese silencio me preocupa. <laughs> all right. Okay, very good. So uh, now, the, listen, listen to this. The same. The idea is that you listen to some classmates, but when we come to the main session, cuando regresemos a la sesión principal, when we come to the main session, van a compartir lo que sus compañeros les digan. You will share what your classmates share with you, okay? For example, for example, sorry, imagine I practice with Floor. So when I come, when I come to the main station, I will say, okay, Floor, um, or, 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 or imagine Floor is the teacher, and Floor will tell me, okay, Bernardo, uh, talk about uh, your classmates. And, and then I say, okay, um, let me look at the questions. Um, Asalia, um, a regular day for Asalia is that she always checks emails, she has meetings, um, she goes to work early, she takes the bus, and she has um, or she gets together with her colleagues for lunch. Question number two, um, she is not so busy because she is a very organized uh, employee, I can say, for example, okay? This is only one example. So the idea is that I share the information as Alia shared with me, not my information, okay? Yeah, so you can take notes. Pueden tomar notas si quieren. You can take notes if you want. Any question? Any question? No? Clear? All right, so just let me ask some questions no, here. Okay. Sandra, Jansi, van a participar en la actividad? Will you participate in the activity? Yes, yes. Okay. Osmin too, right? Yes. Okay, Rafael? Yes. 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 Sandra? Sandra? No, right. No, Urdes? 
Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, Very teacher. good. Ofelia. Sí, teacher. Lo que pasa es que estaba en la cápsula de pantalla y no podía activar el, el yeah. micrófono. It's okay. Ofelia. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Ah, siempre me confundo con Ofelia. I always get confused. Siempre mira el último dispositivo. Okay, very good. you are connected with two devices, right, Ofelia? You are connected with your cell phone and with your computer, right? Yes. Yes, I see. That's the reason. Okay, so let's go to practice then and take notes about your classmates' information, okay? I'll give you five minutes or six minutes to practice, okay? So let's go. Okay. Vini Margarita. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, who start? Uh, you, Angela. Okay. Okay. What is a regular day at your workplace like? My regular day, uh, I always check and send emails. I usually supervise employees in the plant. I usually attend meetings. Attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Huh? And can you repeat a um, second? Um, answer, I, please. I always check and send emails. Uh -huh. I usually supervise employees in the plant. And okay. I usually uh, attend the meetings. Okay. Thank you. Um, how would um, how pronounce it, teacher? How is busy. Busy. busy? Busy. How busy are you? How busy are you? How busy are you? How busy are you, uh, Adrianita? I usually busy. 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 I usually busy because. I have attend the meetings and I make the report and I have um I I have um, actually information don't get to understand information of me I have, department. you say I have to I have to update information I, I have, have to, to update, update information. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Angela, yes. what is a regular uh, day of your workplace? Like, no, otra vez, otra vez. What is a regular day at your workplace like? Uh, Normally they are for, um, for example, always doing a um, check the email. Uh, Osmin? Yes. Well, what is a regular day I at your workplace? Okay. In, in, my, in my case, in my uh, workplace um, number one check my email um, uh, open my newsbook 
can make. Open your. Excuse me. Uh, two, number two. Yes. Open my new news book. In Spanish, is abro mi libro. And I make report. I make I make do as is correct. I make do report. Make. 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 Okay. I make a report. I make a report. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Or you can say write. I write a re I write a report. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. I write a report. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can say I write or I make. No problem. Caso, eh, teacher, que yo genero los cheques de todas las personas. Make. Entonces, sería make. Yes, I make checks for everyone or for all the employees. Or for some employees, I think. Or for all the employees or for some employees. Uh, for some employees and provide supplies. Okay. And suppliers. Suppliers. Yeah, for some employees and some su and suppliers. Yeah, okay, say it to your classmates. Uh, okay, uh, second question. Osmin, yeah. how busy are you? Uh, yeah, in my case, in my workplace, too, uh, uh, I am very busy, especially in the morning. Yeah. I am very busy, especially in the morning. Especially. Especially, okay. Yes, yeah, especially Thank in the morning. Especially in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jansi, uh, question for you, number one. What is a regular day in your workplace like? Okay. I regularly start my day checking the tray or check pending to be generated. Don't say it's a generated feature. Generated. Generated. You say generate. 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 In español, inicia mi día revisando la bandeja. Make. Pendiente de generar. Ahora hágale la 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 pregunta. How busy are you, Sandra? Uh, really, really, I am not busy my day because I have the schedule, uh, my schedule, my work and prepare document and prepare uh, accounting month. All time. On time. Busy, busy, busy. In my case, como es finish, um, dolor de cabeza, headache. No, uh, actually, actually, tranquila, como se dice. My worry. Calm. Calm. Descansado. Yeah. Relax. Relax, you can say. Relax. 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 Yeah. 
tranquila, quiet. Quedó quieta de tanto trabajo. Pero en este caso es diferente. En este caso es diferente. You, you don't say quiet, ok. Estoy cansada. Yeah, quiet. Tired. Quiet. Maybe in this case you can say terminas cansada, you end up tired. You end up tired. Como end, de terminar. End up, end up, up tired. 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 Okay. Yes. Let me write it for you. Te lo voy a escribir acá. Si uno quiere, okay. si uno quiere decir termino cansado, I, I you say tired. I. Oh my God. Okay, let me, let me do something here. I end up, I end up tired, tired. tired. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. I end up tired. I end, for example, si quiero decir, termina cansada, siempre sí termina. Sorry? Si digo, ella termina cansada, sí. She ends, she ends up, she ends up tired. She ends up tired. Uh -huh. She ends up tired. Con and ese, con ese, con ese, porque estamos usando el she, she ends. Ok, recuerden, para tercera persona en presente se le pone ese el verbo. So you say she and ends. And she ends and up and tired. Every day I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> In the case de Asalia, of Asalia. <laughs> Voy a responder lo mismo. Yes. How busy okay. are you? Okay, two questions, verdad? Yes, two questions. I I'm not uh, only when there are um, are the day my pay. From there. I don't, I don't hear you very well. I no sé si mi conexión. I can I can hear you very well. No listen, teacher. No se escucha Ingrid. Ingrid, we can hear you. La palabra, la palabra, la palabra crowded, así se pronuncia o es no crowd? Crowd, la multitud. Ajá. Crowded, 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 crowded. Okay. crowded. Como un lugar lleno de, de personas, ¿verdad? A crowded place. Ah, you say crowded, crowded. Ingrid, can you repeat the second answer, please? Pero ahí vamos. Yes. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Did you take notes? Did you take notes? Did you take notes? Tomaron notas? Did you take notes about your classmate or you remember? Yes. Take okay. Ah, you took notes. Okay, that's excellent. Darwin, you have the one on one session today, right? Of course, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. Just remind you. Teacher, yo me. Margarita, para el primero de septiembre. Yeah, you changed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just don't forget, okay? Mm -hmm, yes. All right, very good. Because the next Thursday, yeah, go to the Estadio Cuscatlan. Oh, it's true, Ryan. We have the match. <laughs> El Salvador versus, yes. versus the United States. It's true. I didn't remember, believe me. And I really like soccer. And I didn't remember. Yes, teacher. The next Thursday, the... the I will class. have... Yes, the class will be like with few students. Yes. The class will be small. Only four or, or five students. Oh, no, 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 only the girls. Solo las chicas, only the girls. No, también nos gusta el fútbol. También se van a ir. Oh, my goodness. Then I will have no students. 
ah, no le, 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 no le puede dar permiso ese día a nadie. Thank you. From the stadium. From the stadium. Yes. Celebrating the goals. Okay, everyone. Uh, now, the idea is that you share about your classmates, right? As I said, okay? Y hablando con Darwin, me adelanto un poquito a una situación. <laughs> Thank you, Darwin, for the reminder, okay? Thank you very much, Darwin. Me adelanto un poquito a una situación. El día jueves de la otra semana no hay permiso para nadie, okay? <laughs> no hay permiso para nadie el día jueves de la, de la otra semana, okay? No, teacher. ¿Por qué, teacher? Tenemos clases todos los días. Y no, y, no, y no hay permiso para solo estar conectado y solo de, 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 de listen, solo de, de, de oyente. No, no hay permiso tampoco. Hay que participar. I, I have a maintenance this, this day. Uh, yeah, sure. Ajá. Ya me imagino que ya tienen su boleto para ir a ver la selecta. I imagine that. Teacher, se va. No sabía, teacher, no sabía que juega. ¿Para qué le dije entonces? Why did I say? Exacto. Tengo okay. la tercera dosis. Ahí le voy a, ahí le voy a, don't worry, ok. Y lo, y lo peor que a las 8 y 5 no. empieza el partido. No. Ahí le voy, don't, don't worry, ahí le voy a estar actualizando, cada, cada 15 minutos le voy a estar actualizando el, el resultado, ok. So don't worry, it's ok. No problem. Ok, very good. So uh, then, no permission for anyone, no hay permiso para okay. nadie, entonces, no permission, ok. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, let's start. Um, let me see. Who wants to share voluntarily? Voluntariamente, who wants to share? ¿Quién quiere compartir? Who wants to share? Who wants? Okay, Ingrid. Ingrid, do you want to? Yes. Okay, Ingrid. Let's listen to Ingrid. Teacher, yo le estaba diciendo victims. Yo salí premiada. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, but do you want to share? ¿Quieres compartir o...? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, go ahead. Adelante, go ahead. Okay. Um, ¿Me pregunta, teacher, o no, yo no. le pregunto? Only share, solo comparte la información. Just share the information. Ah, okay, okay. Vaya. I'm fierce. Um, a ver. Um, is regular days and fierce uh, shares bills? Shares bills, porque... Okay. Uh, I, I hold, hold the cash bills. Ok. Voy a apagar la cámara porque está lloviendo. Eh, okay. Sería así para hacer. Okay. ok, who is the person, Ingrid? Who is the person, Ingrid? Vaya, eh, and second en customer service. Ingrid. And, eh, Ingrid, Ingrid, hello. Who is the person? Who did you practice with? ¿Con quién practicaste? Who did you practice with? Ah, ok, ah, okay. sorry. It's eh, okay. Um, Día con. Quiero ver. Ada. Ok, with Ada. All right, continue. Ok. Si gusta, le pregunto yo a Ada o ella me pregunta, no sé. Only share the information, no problem. Solo comparte la información. Yes. You don't have to no, ask. What's Ophelia? Ophelia, then. It was Ophelia, Ingrid. Ophelia. Ah, ok. Prepare the cash report okay. and deliver to process the cash of the yesterday. Okay. Very good. That's about Ophelia. Other person. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, Ingrid. Thank you. We didn't hear you very well, but I guess you have problems with the connection. I think. Okay. So, but we listen to some things, okay? Thank you, Ingrid, thank you very much. Uh, so, any other volunteer? Hey, Sulma. teacher. Ah, okay. Nelson. Yes. Oh, who? Yeah. Who, Sulma. Nelson? <laughs> Sulma and then <laughs> Nelson. Okay, Sulma and then Nelson. Okay. Um, okay. I shared information about Miguel uh, first. He turns off your laptop, then check your email. 
he verified scheduled meetings. And last, he verified the... Um, <laughs> okay, no problem. It's okay. You should like three. Yes. And the second question, eh, Miguel always eh, busy it's because always busy. he works <laughs> with many projects. Okay. Thank you very much. So, Uma, uh, you say um, your email or his email? Your email, but yes, his email. Ah, his email, right? <laughs> his email. He checks. Yes. His email, you say, because he's to the L, yes. okay? His email, his yes. email, his computer, Thank his blah, 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 okay? Thank you very much, Ulma. Very good, excellent work. So now let's listen to Nelson. Okay, este, my, my, uh, my group is Meger and Sulma. Okay. And the first, and the first question, and the regular dates and the Sulma, in the workplace, uh, Surma say me the, the first checks you are made all day, then attend meeting. Last, uh, a write, write a report is yes, the Surma in, okay. in the second and major, say me. And the and the day regular in the workplace is a tour of the laptop, checking your mail, a schedule, a, no review, schedule, a, a the meeting, the, the watch the meeting, a new meeting. A, a the second question, the Surma is. Uh, how busy is here? Is Surma say me busy, busy, many meeting all day. Okay. And the and the Miguel, Miguel say me always busy because I have to mold many projects. Okay. Yes. It's okay. Done. Okay. Thank you very much, Nelson. Excellent. Very good, okay. Uh, just uh, maybe one observation, not only for Nelson, but for everybody, okay? Uh, for everybody. And uh, Nelson, you say, uh, for Sulma, you say she checks her, her email. And for Miguel, he checks his email, all right? Her, su de ella, he is, su de él, all right? So he checks his email and she checks her email, all right? Yes. Okay, thank you. thank you. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, two more volunteers. I need two more volunteers. I need two more volunteers. Yes, I will let you know, but no. Okay, thank you. I need two more volunteers. Ah, come on. Me, teacher. Um, okay, Angela, all right, and Asalia, all right. Angela first and then Asalia, okay? Uh, my classmate is Adrianita y Flor. Adriana, um, the first question is, um, she always check um, the email. Uh, she attended a meeting. She um, usually supervise her employees, a plan. And the second question, um, always she, she busy. Okay, thank you very much. So you saying she's always busy. Okay, thank you yes. very much. Angela, thank you for sharing. Very good. Now let's listen to Asalia Melanie. My group is uh, Sandrita and Ada. In Ada received documents 
and deliver reports daily. And second, Ada receive document and delivery document very bossy. And Sandra, she check email, she made a content, entries, prepare tax, taxes, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Um, second, question second is, uh, she sent so busy because I have scheduled to prepare my accountant of month. Okay, thank you very much. All right, you say she has, okay, she has, yeah? Uh, sorry, okay. yes. Uh, yeah, no, it's okay, no problem. We are learning, okay? Thank you very much, Asalia, Melanie, and Angela, and all the participations, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so just before we go to the next activity, let me pass the attendance again. Okay, let me pass the attendance again. Let me do it quickly. Ada? Present. Adriana. Present. Very good. Anna Michelle. Present. Very good. Now she's connected. Angela. Present, teacher. Very good. Asalia. Present. Darwin. Present, teacher. Nice. Flor. Present. Gloria. Here. Carla. Present. All right. Margarita. She's working, right? Present. Yeah, it's okay, Margarita. It's okay. I know you're working. Mayra Melanie. Mayra Melanie. Not connected. Okay, Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Nice. Ophelia. Ophelia. Ophelia, okay. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafael. Rosa. Present. Rosa Parks. Sandra. <laughs> Present teacher. Jancy. <coughs> Jancy. Jancy, hello there. No, not connected. And Sulma? Here. Okay. Edwin? Ingrid? Lourdes? Present. Oscar? Not connected. He has permission. And Susana? Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Now let's move to the next activity and listen. In the next Mr. activity, Mr. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, Jancy, but I put the attendance here, don't worry. Ya puse aquí para, para Jancy. Yeah, it's okay, Jancy. Don't worry. Sorry? Me mencionó porque no escuché, porque me cortó. Sí, ya. Yeah. I mentioned you. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the next activity. Now listen. Um, let's see. I have a question for everybody. Mainly for the ones who had the course, the last module with me, all right? Let's see. The question is, después de la conversación que tratamos de memorizar, ¿Cuántas conversaciones más han tratado de memorizar? <laughs> be sincere, okay, be sincere. How many conversations? One, two, three, four, zero five, teacher. six, zero, conver zero, zero conversations. Zero, zero conversations. Zero conversations. No. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, talking about conversations, let's go to today's conversation. And in today's conversation, uh, let me show it to you here. Okay, let me show it to you here. Okay, this is today's conversation, okay? So please take a moment and read the conversation quickly. And I will ask you some questions, okay? 
read the conversation quickly. <clears throat> In the past, yes. Okay, so uh, the conversation is on page number 19, okay? The conversation is on page number 19. So I have some questions for you. If possible, please have the conversation there. Okay, tengan ahí cerca la conversación. Have the conversation close to you, okay? I will ask you five or six questions about the conversation, okay? Five or six questions about the conversation. So please, please, in case you have the answer, go to reactions and raise your hand, okay? I repeat, in case you have the answers or responses, go to reactions on the toolbar and raise your hand like this, así como yo lo voy a hacer ahorita, like this. So imagine I have the answer, tengo la respuesta. Voy rápidamente a reactions and levanto la mano. I raise my hand, okay? Yeah, so you do the same. Van a hacer lo mismo, you do the same, all right? Good, so let's start. Uh, question number one. Question number one. Who cleans the kitchen? Who cleans the kitchen? All right, let's see, Carla. Jessica cleans the kitchen. All right, thank you very much. You. Jessica cleans the kitchen, very good. Uh, now, second question. Is the kitchen clean in this moment? Is the kitchen clean in this moment? All right, let's see, Miguel. No, teacher, only Monday to Wednesday. Only from Monday, Monday to, to Wednesdays. Wednesday. But Wednesday. according, according to the conversation, the context of the conversation, okay, let's check the context of the conversation. In the mm -hmm. moment of the conversation, okay, is the, is the kitchen clean? Uh, yes. Yes, look at the first yes. sentence. This kitchen yes. looks clean, right? Is the conversation, right? This kitchen looks clean, all right? Thank you very yes. much. 
Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. Um, lower your hand, Miguel, please. Question number three. Question number three. Gwen, does Jessica clean the kitchen? Gwen, does Jessica clean the kitchen? Gwen, all right, Gwen. Okay, Adriana? On Mondays and Wednesday. Only Mondays and Wednesdays. Mm. In... Monday and Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Mm. Mm -hmm. You are saying on Monday and Wednesday, but check the answer. It's yes, Asalia. <laughs> yes, Asalia. It's eh, no Mondays. Tuesday, Wednesday. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. That's better. Okay. Yes. Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesday. So basically, it's from, Slow Monday, teacher, so. from Monday to Wednesday. Okay. From Monday to Wednesday. The, the lunes after oh, miércoles. Wednesday. From Monday to Wednesday. Thank you, Adriana. Thank you very much. Question number four Who takes the orders in the morning? Who takes the orders in the morning? Okay, lower this. Mm. Sorry? We'll, we'll take the orders. In the morning. In the morning. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. In the morning. Jessica. Jorge. Ay. <laughs> yes, Jorge. Jorge, okay. It's Jorge, that's right. Okay, Jorge is Jorge. Jorge, I said in the morning, okay? In the morning. Yes. Okay, yes. okay thank you, lower this. Uh, next question, uh, what time does Jorge take the orders? What time, what time does Jorge take the orders? Angela? Um, and the 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Repeat the answer, please. The he take the uh, orders from the... From? Uh -huh, the uh, 10 a.m. to 2, 2 p.m. 2 p.m., all right, from 10 to 2 p.m., all right, very good. Thank you very okay. much, Angela. All right, the last question. Who takes the orders after Jorge? After Jorge. Who takes the orders after Jorge? Wait, Adriana, wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, no problem. Okay, uh, well, she you guys the answer, right? Now say the answer, Adriana, please. It's okay. Adriana? The brothers, Jorge, or bro, Jorge brothers, no sé cómo se dice. El Jorge, orden. Jorge's brother. Jorge's brother. Mm -hmm. Jorge's brother, con el apostrofe, Jorge's. Jorge's, Jorge's brothers. brothers. Okay, thank brothers. you very much. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much for your answers, okay? And the conversation has some questions itself, okay? The conversation has some questions itself. Okay, so it says, who cleans the kitchen? We have the answer. What does Jorge do? We have the answer, right? And when does Jorge's brother take the orders? So we know that, right? We have it here. Very good. So basically we answered the, the questions indirectly. Now, this time, okay, let, let me go here, okay. Let me let me share it in a different way. Okay, so this time, please uh, listen carefully and pay attention to the pronunciation. Okay, so listen carefully and pay attention to pronunciation. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't, or he does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Now, listen again, please, and let's repeat. Listen again, and let's repeat. Siempre con el micrófono apagado, okay? The same with the microphone off, please, all right? Ok, solo déjenme aquí expandir un poquito para poder ver los que están repitiendo. To see the ones who are 
are repeating. All right, let's start. This kitchen looks great. Okay, let's repeat. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't, or he does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it, I get it. And who does after him? And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. All right, I want you to pay attention to some vocabulary. Okay, let's see. Indeed, what is indeed? Any idea? Por supuesto. En efecto. En efecto, en efecto por, efecto, supuesto. por supuesto, verdaderamente. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, what is uh, I get it? Oh, I get it. Lo entiendo. Lo entiendo, comprendo. All right, I get it. I get it, right? Very good. Thank you very much. All right. Now, please, this conversation is on page number 19, okay? I'll give you three minutes, three minutes, all right? I'll give you three minutes and you will go in pairs to break our rooms and you will practice the pronunciation of the conversation, okay? Yeah? So please, focus on practicing the pronunciation only, okay? So please, let's go in pairs and let's practice. Okay, let's go.
does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay, now I start. Mm -hmm. uh, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Continue. Eh, yo lo tengo que decir también. Ah, es mío. Ah, no. Or, ¿Sí? ah, no, she uh -huh. doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Okay, I'll try another. Uh, this kitten looks great. This kitten? 2 p.m. I get it. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. You start. This chicken looks great. It does. Who is chair of clinic? Jessica is. She cleans the chicken from Monday to Wednesday. She doesn't. A really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George doesn't. He takes orders from 10 p.m. and 2, 2 p.m. I get it. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Mm. Hello, Flor. You say chicken or kitchen? Kitchen. Kitchen. Don't say ki don't say chicken, okay? It's not chicken, all right? It's kitchen. Chicken, really? chicken, chicken is another it's, it's a eating. Yes. <laughs> I, I I think I don't know, but I think she's hungry. I think she's hungry. Yes, yes. Okay. 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 Kitchen. 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 Yes. Is the it a chicken? It, yeah. This kitchen, kitchen looks great. It does. Who is charge of cleaning it? Cleaning it. Cleaning, clean? cleaning it. Cleaning, cleaning it. it. Cleaning it. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen. Kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but. Doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Doesn't his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay, next. You? Time is over. Time is over. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's carry on. Uh, uh, just one question quickly. Uh, what is morning shift? What is morning shift? Turno de la mañana. Exactly. Turno de la mañana o turno matutino. Say some people, right? Okay. Morning shift. Shift is turno, okay? <clears throat> very good. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. All right, so... Uh, now, I, I, will, I will ask for volunteers. Ahora no voy a pedir voluntario. I will finger point. De una vez, voy a hacer finger pointing, okay? Finger pointing, all right? So, let's listen to Rosa. Who is your pair? Okay. Uh, okay. This kitchen is okay. 
It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Yes, it is. She cleans the kitchen yeah, from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You get it. And who goes after him? Does his daughter take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you very much. Please, everybody, go to reactions and let's give thumbs up. Please, everybody, go to reactions and give thumbs up. Ok, vamos a ver quiénes son los que no van a dar thumbs up ahorita. Ya lo voy, ya lo voy a decir. Oh, thank you, Alzalia. Salia está un corazoncito, le dio. Thank you. Gloria. Osmin. Oh, ok. So Darwin is doing it directly. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, thank you, uh, Rosa and Michelle. All right, so I, I think Angela wants to participate. Angela, do you want to participate? She was raising hands. Me equivoqué, pero voy a participar. No, it's, it's ok then, no problem. Ya, yeah, tú uh, con, con uh, Melanie. Okay. Microphone. Okay. Okay. You. Okay. <laughs> this kitchen look looks great. He does. Who is charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. For her does. He takes over from 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you very much. Again, go to reactions and let's give thumbs up for Angela and, and Asalia. All right. So go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, algunos hasta están poniendo otros emojis diferentes ahí. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good, thank you. I like it. I like Rafael's. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Very good. Uh, now let's listen to Jansi, the last pair. Jansi, who is your pair, Jansi? Yeah. All right, let's listen to them. Your first, uh, Jansi? Okay. Uh, yes. This kitchen of the first. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is to clean the kitchen from She does a really good job. Indeed, but does Jessica take the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I guess. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, nice, Angela. Before I did it, go to reaction saying, let's give them thumbs up, okay? Gloria, please go to reactions and give them thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Oh my God, and I don't find it. Yo que no lo encuentro tampoco. I don't find it either. Okay, thank you very much, okay? Uh, thank you for the participations, okay? Thank you very much. I appreciate and I really love your participations, okay? So, so thank you for sharing. Very good. Now, uh, let's go to the next activity. Please, in the next activity, pay attention, okay? Pay attention carefully. No se me distraigan. Don't get distracted for the next activity. Okay? Yo sé que no se distraen, pero just in case. Okay? Es por si acaso. Just in case. All right? All right. Let's, let's go to the next activity. So, look. 
uh, in this activity, uh, we have the simple present. And we have the simple present uh, to talk about, oh my goodness. Hold on a second, I am last here. Okay, so we have the simple present to talk about schedule activities, okay? So we use the simple present for a schedule activities, para actividades planeadas, okay? O actividades rutinarias, routinely, routines uh, that we do every day, right? Good, so let's have, let's see some examples here. Matt, Matt serves at 2 p.m. in a restaurant, okay? So this sentence, or this is a schedule activity, all right? Number two, Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. It's a schedule activity. He knows that he has to go to work at 1 p.m., all right? And check something important, okay? In the simple present, just remember, okay, we're just reviewing, solo estamos repasando. We put S in the verb. Le ponemos S al verbo in the simple present, okay? Same here, look. Paul gets, all right? So we put S in the verb. Matt serves, Paul gets. So this S is very important, okay? Esa S es muy importante. That S is very important in the simple present, okay? So this is positive. Now let's check the other examples. Hold on a second. Oh my God, give me a second here. Let me remove this. Okay, let's check the other examples. In the other examples, we have Andrea. And we have, for example, Andrea cleans. Siempre la S. Andrea cleans the tables from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Schedule activity, okay? Maria cooks, siempre la S. Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Schedule activity, all right. So basically what we are saying is that we use the simple present for a schedule activities. And what is the structure? ¿Cuál es la estructura para el presente simple en positivo? Subject, sujeto, verb, luego va el verbo con S, the verb with S, and the complement, el complemento, and then el tiempo de esa hora que hemos agendado, okay? The time for that time we have a schedule, okay? Or you can call it time expression, no una expresión de tiempo, a time expression, okay? Very good. So the same structure for, for all the sentences, la misma estructura. Subject, verb, con S, and then aquí no tenemos un complemento, solo tenemos el time, okay? We have the time only, all right? That's possible too, eso también es posible. Now let's check the other sentences. Same structure, misma estructura, subject, verb, el verbo con S, and the time, subject, verb, okay, un complement, and then the time, okay? So this is the simple present. Esto se llama presente simple, which is for schedule activities, okay? Which is for schedule activities. Now, I will stop here, and the question is, the question is, that is very easy, right? Or do you have any questions? That is very easy, but do you have any questions about this? Ya van a trabajar en esto, por eso les pregunto si, si tienen alguna pregunta. Do you have any questions? No? If you have any questions, you can ask your questions in this moment, okay? So, any questions? No questions. I have a question. Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, we use the verb with s only when we talk about the third person right exactly thank you very much for reminding me anna michelle uh, we use you are right okay we use s in the verb cuando usamos only he she or it es para la tercera persona he she and it okay or ophelia darwin or the computer the dog all right only for a third person, solo para los, eh, los pronombres de tercera persona. He, she, it. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. So, Rosa, do you have any question? No? No. Any other question? No? No more questions? No. Teacher, la, la, la estructura para simple present negativo. Oh, 
Yeah, in this case, you are only studying negative. It's the same. It's the same. Es lo mismo, solo que le ponemos el don't or doesn't before the verb, okay? For example, uh, she doesn't cook at 5 p.m. She doesn't. So I put doesn't before the verb, doesn't, or don't, okay? Yeah. Okay. That is negative, but in this case, we are only studying positive, right? We are only in there. In the positive, okay? Good. Now, listen. Time. Teacher, yes? The verb in the negative in the form, in the form basic. Yes, that's right. No S. No S. In the negative, no S in the verb. Okay, very good. Now, in this activity, okay, this activity is on page number 20, activity five, all right? So this is your time to practice. Aquí van a practicar ustedes. You will practice here. So listen, using the verbs work, open, arrive, close, and go, you will write sentences about you or people in your company, about you or people in your company, applying the topic, okay? For example, you can say uh, about you, right? About me, for example, I can say, I work, okay, using work, I work from seven to 12, at school, all right? Or I work at school from seven to 12. Open. I can say, for example, my school opens um, at, porque debemos decir el tiempo, estamos hablando de schedule activities, right? Schedule activities. My school opens at 6.30 a.m. Arrive. I arrive to work. I arrive to work at what? At uh, seven at 6.45, sorry, at 6.45, close. My school closes at 5.30 p.m., okay? And go, all right? Um, I go to breaks in the morning um, at seven, I mean at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., I go to breaks, okay? So please, Write five examples about you or about people in your company. You can say, for example, my, my colleague Rosa. My colleague Rosa arrives at 8 p.m., for example, okay? So about you or about people in your company, okay? Five examples. One example using work, one using open, one using arrive, one using close, and one using go, all right? Siguiendo la estructura de aquí arriba, following the structure, okay? This is individually, esto es individual. This is individual work. Page number 20, okay, page number 20.
So please, when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand and leave it uh, raise up, okay? Y dejen la levantada. Go to reactions and raise your hand when you finish, please. Thank you, Margarita. I can see you finished. Thank you for following the instruction. If you want, you can also use adverbs of frequency, okay? In the last modules, you studied adverbs, adverbs of frequency. So you can say, I usually, I always, or sometimes, all right? For example, you can say, I sometimes arrive to work at 7 a.m., all right? You can say sometimes, I sometimes, or never, all right? Or always, often, okay? Thank you, Angela. I can see you finished. Thank you very much. Oh, Rosa too. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Adriana. I can see you finished. Thank you very much for raising hands. Oh, Rafa and Darwin too. Thank you very much for raising your hands. Thank you, Suma. Okay, two more minutes. Thank you, Ana Michelle and Flor. Thank you very much. I remember that here you have to be specific, right? Because we are talking about schedule activities, all right? So please be specific. Don't say, I go to work. No, here is, that's not correct, okay? Because we are talking about schedule activities, okay? So you need to say the time you do these activities, all right? I go to work at 7 a.m., for example. Okay, so please be specific here with the time, okay? Seamos específicos con el tiempo. 
The idea of this topic is schedule activities, all right? And for schedule activities, we mention the time. We mention the time, okay? So please consider that. Please consider that. Okay, in the meantime, let me pass the attendance quickly. Mientras terminan los demás, le voy a pasar la, la asistencia. I will pass the attendance, okay? So please, turn on the microphone only when it's your turn, okay? Thank you, Ingrid, for informing that you're back. Eh, solo me encienden el micrófono, por favor, cuando les, cuando los mencione. When I call you, okay? Very good. So let's start. Ada Patricia? Here. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Carla? Present. Margarita? I'm here. Very good. Mayra? Miguel? Present teacher. Nice. Nelson? Present teacher. Ophelia? Here teacher. Very good. Osmin? Here teacher. Nice. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present teacher. Chancy? Present. Zulma? Here. Ingrid? Present. Lourdes? Lourdes? Present teacher, present. Okay. All right, thank you. Oscar? And Susana, that is not here in Edwin either, right? Very good, thank you very much. Okay, very good. Now uh, I can see the majority of you finished, right? The activities. Now listen, uh, the idea is that we go to breakout rooms and the idea there is that you share your activities or your colleagues' activities with your classmates in the groups, okay? So please take turns in the groups, in the breakout rooms, take turns and share the sentences. Y compartan las oraciones and share the sentences, okay? And try to remember, try to remember some of your classmates' sentences, all right? No vamos a memorizar conversaciones, pero al menos tratemos de recordar las actividades de sus compañeros. Let's try to remember your classmates' sentences, all right? At least one or two or three, okay? And then you share here. Do you have any questions before we go to practice? Not teacher. No, all right. So let's go then and share the sentences with your classmates, all right? Okay. Pay attention and try to remember some of your classmates' activities, okay? Okay, let's go to practice. Uh, first, I work from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Uh, then the stores of my company opens at 9 a.m. Okay. I arrive to my job at 7.30 a.m. Sorry to interrupt you. Can you share number two again, please, Michelle? The stores of my... The stores of my company opens at 9 a.m. Okay. Uh, when you say the stores, you are using plural, right? Uh -huh. In this case, okay. you don't have you don't have to put s in the verb in this case, okay? You only ah, say okay. the stores of my store open, no s, okay? En plural no se usa s, es solo en tercera persona, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Continue, please. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. I arrive to my job at 7.30 a.m. Some stores of my company close at 6 p.m. And I go to it at 12.30 p.m. 
12 y media. That's it. Okay, that's all. Yes, or, or half uh, past 12. The, yeah, there are, there are many ways. You can say at 12.30 p.m., you can say 12 and a half, half past 12, or half after 12, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You have different okay. ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lourdes, okay. okay. you're next, please. <laughs> okay. Um, we work from Monday to Friday. Uh, then uh, the office op the office opens from eight uh, thirty to five p.m. Uh, I arrive to my home around at eight p.m. My company closes until 6 p.m. and my co-worker goes uh, to the office from Monday to Friday. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me share my, yes. <clears throat> my exercise. Um, I work from 8, 8 a.m. to 5 and 30 p.m. Uh, the coffee shop open from six. Number five. Bien. Quarter pass. Quarter pass five. Bien. Quarter pass time. Time. Quarter pass time. Un cuarto pasa el tiempo. Five. Five. Quarter five. 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 It's okay. It's okay, Rosa. You can say uh -huh. a quarter past five is okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quarter past yeah, five. 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 I listen time. I listen time. No, five. I think. I think it's five. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. The number five. Go. Uh, she goes. Eh, en esta no, no la terminé bien, pero solo le puse. She goes at the school always seven a.m. She always. She always goes to the school at 7 a.m. Ah, okay. She always. Can I say I, every day I go home at 6, uh, 10 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. At 6? 6, 6, 10 p.m.? Yes. It's okay, you can say it. Okay. Or you can say 10 past 6. Ah, 10, past 10 past 6. 10, uh -huh. 10 past or 10 okay. after 6. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, you ready? 5.15? What? Oh. I go home. Okay. 5.15, I think she's saying. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes. 5.15. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good night, chicas. Good night. <laughs> good night. I don't like you when you say good night. <laughs> <laughs> Personally. Personally. <laughs> okay. Um, well, okay. Well, I think everybody, uh, Took the time to practice, right? Okay, so thank you very much. Did you finish? Terminaron de practicar? Did you finish practicing? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. I hope I didn't cut you off, okay? Yes. Espero no haberlos cortado, los que estaban practicando aún. All right, very good. Now listen, uh, maybe just some things to mention. Ya son las 10 y 1, ya es hora. Por cierto, it's time, by the way. Okay, solo mencionar algo muy importante. Eh, como siempre, recuerden que ahora empezamos semana este día, Okay. Mañana es viernes, mañana es último, último día de la semana laboral para muchos, ¿ok? O último día de la semana en calendario. Pero de la semana 
que tenemos de, de, de que empezamos eh, módulo, mañana es segundo día de la semana, ¿ok? Y de igual manera, el miércoles de la otra semana terminamos, eh, terminamos la, las primeras dos semanas, por supuesto, la semana dos. Y recuerden, siempre lleven en mente trabajar, ir trabajando día a día para que no se les acumule el trabajo. Y recuerden que al final de las dos semanas tienen un examen escrito, ¿ok? El midterm, si recuerdan, ¿verdad? Así que también llevémoslo en mente, que no solo, es, no solo son las actividades diarias, sino también el midterm, que es el examen medio, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, básicamente eso... It's time, I know. Es, ya es hora, ya les quité dos minutos y no quiero, quitar, no quiero quitarles mucho tiempo este día, ¿ok? So, thank you very much for connecting. Oh, by the way, solo una cosita más. Good night, teacher. Hold on, hold on, Azalea, hold on. <laughs> hold your horses. Bueno, por lo que dijo Azalea ahorita, nos vamos a tardar diez minutos más entonces, ¿ok? So, uh, I'm kidding. No, solamente una cosa. Eh, igual, les voy a dejar... Eh, para las oraciones que escribieron, les voy a dejar un foro en el cual deben escribir algunas oraciones acerca de actividades que hacen regularmente, ¿ok? Otro foro, another forum, ¿ok? Se me habían acumulado algunos, pero ya se los, ya se los subí, ¿ok? Ya están todos, para que vayan y puedan mm. comentar, ¿ok? Solo había okay. dejado en uno nada más, por los que han ido a revisar, ¿ok? Pero ya están ahí los demás. So, thank you very much, everybody, for connecting. Yes, okay. that's right, se acumularon para subirlos. Solo se queda... Okay. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night, good night. teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. everybody. Night, everybody. Good night. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, Darwin. This space is for you, Darwin. So if you have any questions, this is the moment. Uh, in my case, teacher, the topic. Uh, unit number one is easy. So you have no problems with the topics so of unit topic. number one? Yes, it's easy. Okay, very good. In, in the moment, uh, another question, the other topic okay. is the use, the use, uh, the, the Pronombres demostrativos. Ok, eh, muy bien. A donde era this, this that, this and that. Mm -hmm. I got it, I get you. A demonstrative pronouns, right? That is your, your question. How to use demonstrative pronouns, right? Okay. Okay, let me give you a little uh, explanation about this topic then, and then we can um, use some examples, okay? So let me open the... The board. So basically, um, the, the most uh, or the most common uh, demonstrative pronouns we have are, uh, for example, okay, let me get a pen here or a pencil. Okay, so basically we have um, this in singular, right? And cool. we have uh, this in, in plural, right? We have that in singular, and we have those, which is the plural for that, okay? So that, this, this is singular, this is plural. That is singular, and those are plural, okay? So first, the difference. This and this es cuando tenemos algo cerca, when we have something close, all right? For example, this cell phone, okay? Este celular, tengo contacto, lo tengo cerca. Um, this notebook, all right? Uh, these keys. Ah, now I go to plural. How many keys do you see? ¿Cuántas llaves miras por acá? Okay, va a acercar, eh? Uh, me... Approximately five, six, J. Now look, by aquí la voy a acercar más a la cámara. Mm. How many? Two. two. Two is plural, right? Yes? Como las tengo cerca, digo these, este de acá. These keys, all right? These keys, estas llaves, plural, right? Yeah? Now listen, in case I have something far, en caso que algo está lejos, voy a decir that. For example, okay, in my case, um, that, okay, imagine the cell phone is far from me. Imagina que el celular está lejos de mí, and I say that cell phone is mine. That cell phone, 
ese celular is not close to me, no está cerca de mí, ¿ok? So that cell phone is mine, ¿ok? Is in singular. And those is in plural. It's like esos o aquellos. For example, from here, desde acá estoy viendo una cajita de accesorios de pesca que tengo por ahí arriba. So I can say, uh, those fishing accessories, those, porque es plural, those fishing accessories, ¿ok? Esos accesorios de pesca, those fishing accessories are mine, for example, ¿ok? Yeah? So it's in plural. So I repeat, this and this, this singular, this plural, cuando algo está cerca. That, cuando algo está lejos. Y those, que es el plural, is the plural of that, the same, when something is far, cuando algo está lejos, también when something is far, ¿ok? Now, let's see it in context. Veámoslos en contexto. Um, now, I go with the cell phone again. Uh, so I say this, or this pen, I will say this pen. This pen is mine, for example. This pen is mine. So I say this pen is mine, este lapicero. Okay? Porque lo tengo cerca. I have it close to me, okay? Here. Yeah? Now, in plural. Now look, two. Aquí hay dos lapiceros ahora. Two, right? Two pens. So it's plural. So I say these. These. Y cambio pen por pens, porque es plural. And I say are, because it's plural, right? These pens are mine. Okay. Y lo puse por acá porque ya no tenía espacio. But let me do it. Okay. Okay. Are, I will do it again here. Mine. Okay. So these pens are mine. So I say these, plural, estos, y pens, pluralizo el sustantivo. These pens are mine. Estos lapiceros son. No es plural, I say are. Okay, these pens are mine. Si es singular, is. Right? The same for that and those. Lo mismo para that y those. Solo que, only that. Let me get the eraser here. Okay, so lo que se digo a uh, that, right? O sea, que teacher, el concepto sería singular o plural y la ubicación cerca o lejos de estos objetos o personas. La distancia, the distance. Oh. Yes, okay. For example, si yo digo, um, oh my God, me aparece por acá el lapicero. Give me a minute. Give me a minute here. Ahora sí. Now I get it. For example, if I say that, okay, that, that pen is mine. Estoy diciendo, aquel lapicero es mío, o ese está lejos de mí. O si digo those, okay, solo que aquí va con mayúscula y no le estoy poniendo mayúscula al principio, porque okay, inicia la oración. Okay, but anyways, the idea, those, aquellos lapiceros. Okay, son míos, those pens, significa que no están cerca de mí. Y también lo uso para personas, no para cosas. For example, I can say, that is my brother. That is my brother. Lo estoy señalando allá a lo lejos, that is my brother. Aquel es mi hermano, no está cerca de mí. Pero si, si yo digo, this is my brother, está cerca de mí. Este es mi hermano, ok. Lo tengo a la par, digamos. A la par, exactamente. Next to me. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahora sí, claro. It's clear. It's clear. Very good. Okay. So the idea is that um, the idea is that you have it clear, of course. Okay. Don't just don't forget. Okay. So this singular, this plural, this and this es cuando algo está cerca o te estoy teniendo contacto con ese algo o con ese alguien. Okay. Ya. Yeah. And that and those. Algo estaba, está lejos, ¿ok? And, obviamente no hay contacto, solo lo estoy señalando allá a lo lejos, ¿ok? That is my brother, ese es mi hermano. Or those are my brothers, ellos son mis hermanos, o aquellos son mis hermanos, ¿ok? Those, ¿ok? Ok. All right. Ok, okay teacher. Uh, thanks for your explanation. Yeah, it's ok, no problem. I don't know if you have any other uh, question. Sí. No, it's clear a topic. All right, very good. Yeah. 
Okay, very good. Yes. Just... Mm -hmm. yeah. so, sorry? Is, is clear and the topic number one is clear. Okay, excellent. Just, just don't forget, okay? Just don't forget that the verb, if it's singular, the verb is is, in case you are using the verb to be. This is, all right? Or this cell phone is. And if it's plural, these cell phones are, okay? Yeah, you say are if it's plural, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Thanks. All right, thank you very much, Darwin. Thank you for staying and thank you for connecting, okay? Thanks, teacher. See you later. Okay, see you around. See you tomorrow.